Hi, I'm Alonso, a software engineer at Penpot, and today I want to show you a great new feature that we bring with uh, Penpot 2.3, the plugin system. Plugins open up a whole new way of doing things inside Penpot. You can create custom integrations, custom workflows, or even whole new applications all inside Penpot. The beauty of the plugins API is that gives developers the same tools and data as the user has. So they can create saves, change colors, or access all the document information. The possibilities are endless. And the best part, you as a user stays in full control. All the plugins need to ask for your permission to access your data or uh, modify your content. So you get to choose what data they can access and when. But enough talk, let's see the plugins in action. Welcome to the new Penpot Hub. I'm sure that before long you'll see some of your own plugins or those from the community showing up here. Let's check uh, the revenue stream plugin to see what's about. Well, here's the detail of the plugin, the name, the, the author, and the description. You can also check uh, more details and images so you can make a, an idea of what the plugin is about. Let's install the plugin. Now inside Penpot, you can check the permissions that the plugin is asking for. This simple plugin only needs uh, read and modify access, so we will allow it. Now, the plugin is already installed in your user profile. But normally, after you have installed a plugin, you want to check it out and jump inside the plugin directly. So we'll try it. Yeah, um, we are uh, now inside Penpot. We can try the new Learn Ipsum plugin. We create a, a new text. We add, for example, three paragraphs. Just like that, we have uh, a Learn Ipsum text uh, as a placeholder of, uh, in, in, our, in our text box. I think it's pretty cool, but let's continue. Now I'm going to install uh, a second plugin. This is the Contrast Checker plugin. But instead of using the Install button, I'm going to copy the install URL. Once I click it, uh, that will copy into my clipboard. Now we can open the Plugins Management Panel. You can access from the menu or from the toolbar. Once here, paste in the, the installation URL. And yeah, again, it will ask you for the permissions, so we allow it. Now we can open the plugin. And yeah, for this plugin, we need another shape to check the contrast between the text and the color. I'm creating a, a new rectangle uh, with a very low contrast color. And after I select both of them, you can see this is not accessible at all. I'm going to change the text color to white. This is much uh, bigger contrast, so it passes uh, AAA validation. As you can see, using plugins is a breeze, but now I know our users and many of you are asking the same question. This is fine at all, but how can I create my own plugin? Well, I'm glad uh, you asked because now I'm going to answer that. <laughs> Before diving into the code, let's check the documentation page. Let's take a look at the new documentation page. From here, you can access all the key topics, how to use plugins, for example, how to create a new plugin, and we have also provided uh, some uh, samples and templates. Uh, this is a starter template that we have created. You can use the GitHub uh, template to, to create a new repository already using this uh, plugin template. But I'm going to, to clone the repository in order to, to create the plugin. The first step is just cloning the, the template again. Yeah, I'm going to call it something fancy like my plugin. Let's wait for it to clone, all right. Now I have to create, enter the, the directory and install the dependencies. Well, just like that, uh, we have our Frex plugin uh, ready. Uh, this is the plugin main file, um, kind of like a main file for the plugins. And here you can see some of the API calls that we are, are using. Uh, I'm not going through the code because you have all the documentation available, but let me show you how, how we can uh, execute this inside Penpot. The first thing is to uh, run the script for starting up the, the local host server. This will just run a, an MPA run web. And now uh, with the URL as a base, we can access the, the manifest file. Here, this is the manifest file that we need to know the URL and to, to copy this URL into in Penpot. We copy the URL and now inside Penpot, 
we'll create a, a new file and um, yeah paste in this URL install as you can see it asks for for permissions again these permissions are defined inside the manifest file that is in the public uh, manifest here I'm defining the content read and content write this means that this plugin can read and create new shapes into your workspace. Well, let's try it. This is just a Hello World plugin. If I click this button, it will create a, a Hello World text. Quite cool. In just a couple of minutes, we have a new plugin, but let's make some, some modifications. And instead of creating Hello World, I'm going to change the text. Welcome to the plugins world. Um, just like that, uh, there is hot reloading. So now if I create the text again, yeah, welcome to the plugins world. And just like that, we have changed our plugin to, to our needs. Uh, this is the beginning, the sky is the limit. Before leaving, I want to show you some cool features that we have also in our documentation page. The first one is the, the API docs. From here, you can check all the APIs that you can access uh, from a plugin. Everything is defined in, in this document. For example, create rectangle, you can see the name of the function, even some simple code to use as a base for, for your own plugins. We also provide some a section to, with some examples and common use cases that you will need uh, when developing your plugin. For example, we have create a shape, create a text, and other useful examples. You can check them here in, in our documentation or you can go to our repository in GitHub. This repository has all the samples uh, in, in the shape of a plugin. Every folder you see here, it's a, a different plugin that executes the, the sample code seen in the documentation. For example, this one creates a new, a new shape. And that's it. I hope you like the new plugin system. We are very excited to see what you can do with it. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel. More tutorials are coming. See you soon. Bye bye.